What's up, everybody? It's the Michael Lennon, 1997. Here to give you guys my, uh, what I heard and what I wrote down from E3 of Microsoft, or Xbox's E3. You know? The Redemption Act. You know what? I have to say, I'm actually surprised at what they actually did here. Last year, for the last few years, connect, Microsoft has been kind of making tons of scripts at E3s so with some bad ideas and some not good ones. And, you know what? This actually might be the redemption. I'm serious. Um, this is the first thing they showed at the Xbox event. What is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Activision's next step, next uh, chapter, or next part of this so-called long tenure franchise. Now, now, I have a hate relationship with Call of Duty. I actually have a really big one. I love hate relationship. At parts, the game is fun. Now the parts, it makes me want to break my damn controller and lose my damn mind. You can make an angry rant. But this game kind of takes a different turn. As in black, um, as this one kind of is more science fiction, more like, in my opinion, but more science fiction aware. Also reminds me of what I just actually saw at Edge of Tomorrow with the exoskeleton suits and Elysium with exoskeleton suits. Look, there's the exoskeletons here, so they jump faster, like, run faster, jump higher. If you saw the trailer, you would know what I'm talking about. The original trailer came out like two months ago, I believe. I don't really know because I'm not really paying attention to the month, so leave me alone. Um, so, what they showed you was actually impressive. For the beginning of Xbox One and last year's Ghost, there was actually Lackluster's Xbox One. And it actually ran at 720p. But this actually looks like a little bit higher resolution. It looks actually very really impressive for the Xbox One, the graphical hardware. It looks impressive. Um,. So, they also show Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which, as you see here, I thought was impressive, but, in my opinion, I'm not really sold on Call of Duty anymore, in my opinion, because I feel like getting betrayed by the multiplayer, and I always, like, always hate it. And the campaigns have always been mixed bags, in my opinion, specifically Call of Duty's campaigns. Um, so, um, I'm gonna, like, take my, I'm not gonna take my chances, I might, maybe pure them, maybe not, I don't know. Um, they're also going to be revealing more free DLC for Forza Motorsport 5 for Xbox One owners who have Forza Motorsport 5. Like me, when, it came, when I got my Christmas present, it came along with it. So that's fun, so I get an extra DLC pack, which comes out right, well not right now, but the day that this EP came out, they released it. So that's good for you guys. They also announced the fourth, well it's not actually announced, but Forza Horizon 2 is going to be developed by Playground Games, the same developers of the original one. On Xbox One and Xbox 360, uh, different uh, companies are doing the 360 version though. So it's not going to look as visually outstanding on that, so big deal. Um, the, they also said something about the multiplayer uh, having no more lobbies and no more winning, so it's like seamless multiplayer racing. And I must, I'm, I like Forza. I mean, I really do love Forza. It's kind of like one of those franchises that car people or car people not like me. It's kind of like a need for speed. But the realistic version of Need for Speed yet. And Forza Horizon, the Forza Horizon original, was an open world type of racing game, which I never actually played the version. I played the demo, but that's it. Forza Motorsport 5 was my real first game of Forza. And to see, I, might, I will support Forza 2. Forza Horizon 2. It does come out September 30th, so <clears throat> it's like four months from now, so keep those like dollar bills in a corner and put in your Forza pot until Forza comes out. Um, they also showed, um, if not, they didn't show Evolve, but they did show a trailer of Evolve as a beta that's going to be coming out on Xbox One first. And, the free and there's going to be not free DLC, but a DLC package is coming out first. It's like how Call of Duty has this um, thing of all the DLC be on Xbox One first, and PlayStation owners will get it later on. Like that month later thing of bullshit, whatever. And guess what? Guess what? And the new Evolve game, which is done by Turtle Rock Studios, that thing with four against one monster thing. Four hunters, one monster. The monster guy can play as the Kraken then. The water creature, that Kraken guy. That's who you can play as now. So that's actually awesome. They didn't show actual they showed some footage like a gameplay trailer and it looked really well done. I can't wait to see that game. It comes out in October. I can't wait to play it. It looks a lot of fun. Um, next they also showed some footage of Assassin's Creed Unity. Which was I had to say I'm really looking forward to this because this is four player co op now. This is a four player co op experience and it's in, it takes place in the French Revolution of Fleech. Fleech Revolution. 
Um, so I really like um, the idea of it, the French Revolution and all that time. So I see what they're going for. Um, the look of the co-op, it looks impressive. I really can't wait to see it. I want to see more footage of it because what they showed us, it really did tease me. I was like, oh, I want to see more of it. I want to see more, but this is E3 we're talking about. So they have to show a little glimpses. They can't show everything yet. So that's how I see things. Um, they also showed the trailer for Dragon Age 3 Inquisition. And, uh, and Dragon Age 3 will be developed by Bioware. And they'll also be using the Frostbite 3 engine, which is impressive. Because last time they used Frostbite 3 engine, or Frostbite engine, was uh, Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor Warfighter was last time that was not a dice game. Um, last game that was used it was also Need for Speed the Run, which is an impressive looking game, like Visual Beauty. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, so for a Dragon Age fans who wants Dragon Age really badly, you're going to get this year on October 7th. So check out that out. Um, we also saw some footage of Sunset Overdrive, Insomniac Games' new project, which was, uh, they showed it last year. Um, it's going to be running at 900p and 30 frames per second. So for those, like, big, badass hardware boys who says, I want 1080p, 60 frames per second, you're not going to get that here. You're going to get 900p and 30 frames per second. You know, for me, I don't really care the visual output. I mean, I got, like, tons of pushes in three games that all run at 720p, and I don't give a shit. I don't really care about that. I mean, my games that run at 900p on Xbox One, I don't care. In my opinion, visuals don't matter. It, it matters if they look horrible as hell, but if they, they don't have to be super uh, detailed, okay? So, I'm looking, there's also going to be sending that up. It'll be coming out October 28th. It looks a lot like a mixture of um, zombies, uh, parkour, and tons of other cool mechanics put in there. I don't really know how to explain it. That's hard to explain. Um, next, just, they didn't really show fan. They showed. Um, they talked about Disney Fantasia, Music Evolved, which is going to do something with Connect, but Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Then they also talked about Dance Central, which is our download-only game title. Um, it's called Dance Central Spotlight, which comes out September, and it's only download-only title. So that's it. Um, this is the ending of the, the um, E3 demo for Call of Duty. Then they showed Fable Legends, and I gotta be honest with you, I got tired of Fable 3. I played, I got Fable 3 for like 20, 30 bucks. I played it, and I wasn't really interested in it. I, I was bored to death. So, to see what Fable will do next, who knows? I might take interest. Learn Head Studios, do something good with Fable. Try to make it more likable for other people. So, you know. Then they also showed um, Ori and the Blind Forge, which is a trailer with some gameplay for the show. And then a little bit little. It's coming out this fall, so that's good. Uh, so that's that, really. Um, then they showed. Then, this was one that I really love. Everyone's saying that Halo is being pushed out too much. Like, there's too much Halo. Holy, there's too much damn Call of Duty, so shut the hell up if you're saying there's too much Halo. Alright? Seriously. So, guess what? 343 came out, and they said. That Master Chief Collection is going to be coming out on November 11, 2014. I'm definitely picking that up. I love Halo. Halo is one of the reasons why I actually play it on the Xbox. It's one of the reasons, you know. So, um, guess what? It's going to become a Halo 1, Combat Evolved, Halo 2, which is the 10 year anniversary, right at uh, the end of the year, 10 year anniversary for Halo 2, and Halo 3, and basically Halo 4, which is a really good Halo game. Um, so that's really what they showed. Um, they showed some gameplay for the Halo 2 multiplayer. It's gonna be uh, revamped and we have a lot of good details, hopefully, so it's gonna look that good. And guess what? All the games are gonna be running in 1080p and 60 frames per second. So those people that want, if they, they want the full HD experience and all that stuff, those graphic cores out there, they're gonna get that with Halo. Uh, Halo 5 Guardian will come out next year. They said a little bit about that. They didn't say too much, you know, because they want to keep it quiet. It's really sure that Halo, the Master Chief Collection, but big deal. Oh god, I don't want to get touched. Um, so, um, uh, then they showed, um, Play Dead's new project called Inside, because of next year. <coughs> then they also showed Rise of the Tomb Raider. In other words, Tomb Raider 2. Which is Laura Cross Journey Continues from Crystal Dynamics of the project. Which is after the sequel, hopefully. And it looks impressive. It, I don't know too much about it. They didn't show too much of the trailer. They showed like the um, CGI trailer, that's it. And then um, they show footage of The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. 
And I never got a chance to actually play Witcher 2. The Witcher 2, um, for, um, I think 60. I never got a chance to actually play it, so... Um, it might come out for PS4, I heard rumors of that, but Xbox, Xbox One people are gonna buy that for. It's not coming out this year, it's coming out next year. Um, so that's what you get. Um, then there's gonna be a game called Phantom Dust, which is some type of fighter of some sort. So what the trailer showed me, I, the trailer showed I me, mean, I was kind of confused about it. I didn't really know what to really think about, uh, Phantom Dust. I'm not really sure what to think about it right now. I know it's a fighting game, that's all I know. And then they showed Tom Clancy's The Division, and that game was damn impressive. Tom Clancy's The Division looks like one of those open world RPG online only multiplayer games that's gonna look outstanding and it's gonna be beautiful. Um, there's no release date for it, all I know is it's coming out next year, 2015, so that's all we know of it so far. <coughs> and then Platinum Games showed up, and they released their new project called Scalebound, which is just like cool, like, Dragon's Dogma version of it. It's like Dragon Dogma, but it was outstanding, but it was beautiful for Dragon's Dogma. And it was like this, like, part when this guy's hand is like metal or rock type, and they could transform the entire body, it's like this warrior suit, and a sword, and all his bow and arrows, all that stuff. And keep in mind, it's a CGI trailer, so there's no actual gameplay footage of it shown. Um, so... Final Games has been doing a lot of stuff, to be honest. They've been working on Bayonetta 2 for Wii U for a while now. It's been four years since Bayonetta. And now they've also been working on like, games like Metal Gear Rising Revenge and all that stuff, all these projects. Um, so, I'm really, I, I really like right, Metal Gear Rising Revenge. That was a really fun game. I can't wait for Bayonetta 2 for Wii U because it will be bundled later on. I'll explain that later. Um, so, Scalebound looks interesting. I'm look, a little interested. I want to see actual gameplay footage, but who knows? I mean, we may see later on before it's released. Who knows? And then um, they also showed uh, Crackdown, a Crackdown trailer. Crack, tra Crackdown is coming back for next gen consoles. Um, I don't know if it's a remake of the franchise. I don't know if it's the first game redone all over, or if it's the third game just called Crackdown. I don't know. Um, that's all. That, that's all I got from Microsoft, basically. If you guys have any more information, but I don't know, but that's all I got from Microsoft. But overall, I'll take on Microsoft is, this is their redemption. This is how you, rec you, rec you recover from a disaster slash year's act. From E3, when I started talking about the Xbox One, like, packaging and all that stuff, and restricting us and shit, they, they fixed all their problems. So thank God they fixed their problems. And they came back, and guess what? They came with the games. They mattered about the games. The games that matter. So that's what's important here. That's what's important. So that's all I'm gonna say about Microsoft here. Good job. They showed a lot of this stuff. They actually showed some games. Um, but compared to Sony's, I, they showed a lot. Sony showed a lot more games, in my opinion. They showed a lot more. You know, so that's what I think. <coughs> so guys, I'm sorry for coughing. I'm sorry for being having my cough. But please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, that's where I'm going to be all the time, so I'll get notifications all the time. I get some response here and there. My name on Facebook is Michael Martinez. My name on Twitter is DMichael1997. So you can check that out whenever you want to. So, bye guys. Um, check out my other videos. I did um, uh, Sony E3 and I did my introduction, so you can check those out. You can also check out my walk or playthroughs of The Walking Dead Season 2. I, I, I have those posted up all the time. I'll be doing reviews on those two and movies reviews coming out real soon. I don't know when, but they're coming soon. Bye.